The, it doesn't make okay. You're gonna have to take your pants off if you want to be touched by Jesus like that. Because we're gonna have a religious experience here. Are you Are you ready yet? It's time for the podcast. Okay, can we the podcast? Fucking, can stop. we move it along? The podcast to end all podcast. I don't even know what the hell this man's doing. God damn it! Will you turn this up a little bit so I can fucking hear it? In my headphones. Is Thank my, you. Is this my water? Well, it is now. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now hanging out with the only man. Who pairs his scotch with a spicy attack turtle and camouflage ketchup? That's right, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. My name is DJ Oso Fresh, and I improve every episode. Not like your report cards, because you got asked by the time they kicked you out of class. This is a fantastic voyage. Coolio, actually, Coolio can't take you on those voyages no more because he only has four brains. My name is Oso Motherfucking Fresh. I'm so happy to be back. This guy, what's this fucker's name? What's What's this fucker's name? It's the host with no name. You already know my claim to fame, motherfucker, and you can hit us up 503-776-0167 or at thehypepodcast.com, patreon.com forward slash thehypepodcast, facebook.com forward slash thehypepodcast, or or you can just get at oh so fresh because he's everywhere. Shout out to John. John's in the house. How you doing? You doing all right? All right. All right. He's See, chilling. He's, he's chilling. Chilling in the background, next to the stripper pole, hey, behind you, the green screen. You can see him on Patreon if you tune in. <laughs> if you were paying your subscription, you can see John on Patreon. He is a professional basketball player. And he's not wearing pants. He's wearing shorts. Can you slam dunk? <laughs> <laughs> you got a motherfucker in here that can slam dunk? Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> And don't you go close to none of my bitches. <laughs> and leave my mother out of this, goddammit. I got, can't believe we got a slam ducking motherfucker up in here. We got a great show for you today, and let me tell you why. Because Oso's going to shit on somebody very close to him. I had to explain what watermelon salad was to Mr. Oh So Fresh, and I have been never, ever in my life been more impressed with myself than I am right now. <laughs> you got it wrong, too. <laughs> no, I didn't, bitch. You didn't even know what it is. And you still don't know what it is. You've no, never even tried it. Slam dunking motherfucker had to explain <laughs> what watermelon salad was. I guess that's Slam Dunk Jones over there. Slam Dunk Jones and Jimmy Petals are in the house, motherfucker. Jimmy, don't Jimmy get Pettles it twisted. in the building. Now, I gotta tell you, I, the podcast is growing steadily. Steadily growing every week. And there's one listener that I want to listen to the show. And I happen to be visiting this listener last week. Uh huh. It is my dear mother. And I will tell you that um, I really shit on my mother last week for not listening to the show. Figuratively, right? Figuratively, no, no. Okay. I, I literally shit on my mother. She, it, it, that would not be cool. I don't think you would listen to a show where I talked about. Listen, there's weird fetishes for everything, oh, so fresh. Okay. I don't think that, I know a lot of people I, that are into some weird shit. I don't think that's even legal, sir. So I'm I'm over there and I go to visit and it's it's cool because I'm I, I go. She wants me to fix our computer. Hold on, shit. hold on. You and your mom are speaking again. Yeah, uh, we're after speaking. after Mother's Day, I thought you guys were at Mother's Day. Oh no, oh let let me tell you. First thing I said when I got up into that motherfucker <laughs> after Mother's Day was like, hey, check this out. You don't invite me someplace fifty dollars a plate a day in advance. <laughs> And what did she say? What was her retort to that? Because I know you didn't say it in that tone. You was like, look here, uh, mother. I was like, hey, mom. <clears throat> Ma'am. Hey, ma- hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. I'm sorry we missed dinner at Salty's. <laughs> <laughs> but at $50 a pop, dinner at Salty's was a little bit too expensive for me. And a little bit too, more, too fucking short notice, bitch. Yeah, then, 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 I, then I called a bitch. So I go over there. <laughs> me, and, me and her husband, we ain't the best of friends. Fuck that little motherfucker. Be honest with you, because you notice he's not my stepdad. He is her husband. Is he really? That's, is he actually little though? Yes, he he, he is short. I mean, he must. He's a five footer. Uh, we're, ta- we're talking the size of DMX. I mean, or that, what? Every, every time I every time I drive up, that motherfucker's going the plane, the plane, <laughs> all that shit, that type of shit. That's how short my husband, my mom's husband is. So I get there. And I'm just getting there to go see my mom, and you know it's Saturday. I don't want to do shit. Didn't want to leave the fucking house. No, I just wanted to sit, chill out. You know, I got an arcade in my house. I got an arcade. I wanted to sit and play some goddamn NBA Jam. But my mom was like, I need help with my computer stuff. And let me tell you something. If you are a motherfucker that needs help with your computer stuff, have all your goddamn passwords ready. Because that is the shit. 
I can fucking do I done drove all the way Over here You know there's traffic On a Saturday <coughs> Did you know there's traffic On a Saturday sir There's traffic On a Saturday First of all You better have All your passwords ready You already Have better have tried To have turned it on Off and on again And secondly You better know What the goddamn problem is I need I can, to access my email I can't access my email I get over there That motherfucker Don't even know What you want to do With the computer <laughs> So what is your goal? Do you want to write? I just wanted to have the internet. It has the internet. It came with the internet. The internet is everywhere. The internet is flowing through your body. You ever heard of Wi-Fi, motherfucker? The internet is here. It is going through our veins. Oh my I mean, god! There's more internet going through your body than goddamn Jesus. I really wish Shout you talked to you, Jesus. I really wish you talked to your mother this way. <laughs> So I get there, and this motherfucker, I just came to see my mom. I didn't come to see you. I mean, Mo Curly, whichever of the stooges you may be, you piece of shit. I didn't come to see you, friend. No, I get over there, and this guy is like, they live in a building. They live in a, um, they live in a security building. Okay. First off, no, let me, I got to back up one more time. My mom gave me the wrong motherfucking address. <laughs> so I'm driving up her phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know where your mother lives. No, nah, first time over there. Okay. All right. Just, you, just you so we're just, clear. You just pointed out that we hadn't been talking. That's I, you, I, you I was just clarifying. Yeah, okay. I, okay. So I go over there. Yeah. Uh, she is one five one five five. It's supposed to be eleven fifty five. Oh, okay. I was so gonna say she, you're just gonna put mom's address out there. <laughs> she's supposed to get. She's supposed to give me. It, she gave me one five five, so I'm driving up and down the street, and they're like, "It's right here, it's right here." You know, how old people be. Oh, we saw you drive by. Oh, yeah. Can you see my headlights? <laughs> Can't you see me from the patio? No, I'm watching the street. You think I'm looking up? And this little motherfucker roll out like George Jefferson, and he goes, "Yeah, this is a security building." And you know, I, I'd like to tell you, sir. I've been in a security building before, so I understand the concept <laughs> that you just ring upstairs right. and you guys let me in and I go to the elevator and I go to my floor. I know it's a little bit more secure than the last time I was there. So I get there. I do all the salutations. Hey, mom, long time no see. Yeah, we, we had to discuss the salties a little bit. Yeah, because I had a problem with that. But then... He's like, hey, why don't you tour the house? It's an apartment. What's, <laughs> what the fuck am I touring? <laughs> Do I want to see your bedroom? No. <laughs> I, I might stumble upon some shit I don't want to see. Let me tell you, if you have a step parent, <clears throat> no. And they don't, and you, you know, if your parent has shacked up with somebody since your parent, no, I don't want to see your fucking bedroom. I, I, <laughs> That's where my that's where my daddy's supposed to be. <laughs> so after I start talking to her, this motherfucker goes to show me around the whole damn complex. I have never <laughs> I have never had a tour of a complex by somebody who lived there. He's like, yeah, there's the pool. First, like, first of all, you're not even there to see him. Let's yeah. let's let's get this clear. You're there to do some IT work as a favorite of mom, and he's just like shucking and jiving through the halls. Like, hey, let me show you. Hey, let hey, me show you hey, this hey, hey, here, don't, don't be talking about the blacks like that on the show. You can't say <laughs> what do you mean the blacks. You, you can't say. Nobody black. You said you're, anything you're, about being you're, black. You're, you're leaving you're, out you're, vital you're, plot you're, points. You, you know he's black. So you can't say. Do I? Do I? Is kid. that a fact? He was I there next, when you? Was he, I there he, when you met him? He used to live next door, bitch. And you? How many people have lived next door? How many people? Quite a few. Quite a fucking few. <laughs> and there you go. And, and there's a few pelts on the wall too. <laughs> White ones. Well, there, there you go. So how and the you, fuck am I supposed to keep track of your goddamn family lineage? Because when because I don't if, know if, if, what if, type of people you your mom is laying if with. If you suspected he was white, you would not say shucking and jiving. Would I? You would not. How do you? How do you know? Because I've known you that long. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, I've, I've known. I've known what kind of racist piece of shit you can. Have you listened to the show? We got over two hundred sixty <laughs> fucking episodes. Do you know the type of shit you Elvis were saying? Shucking and jiving. Elvis is Elvis. white as fuck. Maybe Elvis, in case Elvis, you didn't know, Elvis was the first one to appropriate culture well. And okay, Al Jolson. He he did. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Mammy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about that blackface shit? <laughs> no. So don't mention shucking and jiving. I can anyway, mention whatever no. the fuck I want. It's so, 2022. So, so. If I want to identify with shucking and jiving, I can. Guess what? So the but, so the butler was black and he showed me around the mansion. <laughs> the That's what the fuck happened. <laughs> This motherfucker, he was he, he has a scooter. I mean, no hate, but he has a scooter. It, he has not quite figured out how to pace with real people walking. Oh, like, so like this is like a push, like a kick push scooter. No, it's like an electric one, dude. 
The plot thickens. What is going on with this guy? Yeah, well, he, he has problems walking, so he has a scooter. So he uh, gets like his own little Walmart scooter just around the apartment complex? Yeah. And this motherfucker has not figured out how to pace with normal people. He's going, <laughs> I'm walking and I'm a fast fucking walker. And I'm picking up a brisk fucking sweat trying to keep up with this shit. And this motherfucker just going, he looked back at me like, yeah, run. You ever, you ever play Mike Tyson's Punch Out where, you, where, where little Mac is running and shit? Yeah. It was like that. It was like I was training for a fight, running behind this motherfucker on a Walmart goddamn scooter. So he takes me, he shows me, he's like, we go by the pool. He's like, yeah, that's where the pool is. He's like, you should come by. No, it's not my fucking pool. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just pushed him in the water with along with his scooter. No, no, no. The pool didn't stop there. There was people having a birthday party at the pool. Did he go introduce you? No. <laughs> There are people having a birthday party at the pool. And he's like, you're not supposed to have food at the pool. Shut the fuck up. He's done a race. He's turning police in the pool. He's like, hey, he, kept, he couldn't stop talking about it. Like, then he takes me around. He's like, oh, there's the, the, there's the workout room. And then there's a, there's a party room. So there's more for you. You have to reserve it. He said, like, you can do the podcast there. I was like, you know, I got a studio, bitch. I do the podcast at my fucking house. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he, he, he offered to allow you the privilege of doing your fucking podcast show in a public rec room. And you turned him down? I know, man. That's, that, I mean. that's like that's like turning down an invite to Chuck E. Cheese. Who the fuck do you think you are? I mean, so that ranks up there with a, a invite to the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't fucking consult with me before you turned down this I public rec room. I turned it down. <laughs> so we get back into the fucking apartment. And he could, Hang on, how long did this take? How long did this, uh, this <laughs> The tour must take about 15 minutes. <laughs> so you had then, a 15 then, minute then, apartment then, safari. And then he showed me how, how the doors looped around. <laughs> and when we went back in the door, we were right by their apartment. I mean, it was like the greatest shit ever. You think that man the fucker was going to say Shazam? He just, did, he just took you on the greatest tour on earth. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't try to charge me a quarter for it. <laughs> so we get back to the fucking apartment. And I'm ready to do my IT work. And you know. Vibe with my mom. We chilling, you know? <clears throat> you know, mom's done stuff. Like, you're not involved. But this motherfucker can't stop talking about how they have food <laughs> at the <fucking> pool. <laughs> and then he leaves for a minute, and me and my mom were talking. I'm working on computer shit, and he comes back. He's like, I went down there and told him that they have food at the pool. Shut the fuck up. This no, motherfucker he did not. straight snitches. They have food at the motherfucking pool. He said, because when my grandkids come over, we can have food at the pool too. Did, was he like upset about a certain type of food that they had? Or was it just like any food in general, like snack peanuts? It was like some shit I had never had before. Watermelon salad. Dude, how have you not had watermelon salad, first of all? I have not had watermelon salad. How have I not? I have how, not. How have you not? Do you, do you not. even know? You don't know what watermelon salad is. We, I have no we idea what watermelon salad before is. the show. No, you, you you tried to explain it to me. It's and the bombest shit and that and you've and never and eaten. And then fucking bitch ass slam dunk Jones over here. <laughs> <laughs> never fucking behind that one. Dude, fuck that. Dude, watermelon salad is the fucking shit. It's watermelon, diced up basil, and feta cheese. And you just mix that shit up. Three things that you'd never expect to go together. It's the fucking bomb of shit you've ever had in your life. So ne next to grape drink is I did, the best fucking thing. I, I heard about watermelon on this last weekend because there is a, a museum. Where was it at? Like Atlanta, Indianapolis, in Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah the white, white people capital of the world. Hey man, Colts, <laughs> <laughs> NCAA, like a fucking museum <laughs> hall of fame. Hell yeah, Larry Bird. Yeah, yeah Larry Bird. Yeah, Larry and, Larry, uh, and they Larry. tried to serve children watermelon salad. They got. No, no. It, the thing is, they tried to serve children watermelon salad to celebrate Juneteenth. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if was it yeah. like only was it only black kids though? Like, did they offer it to the white kids too? And the white kids were like, "What the fuck is this?" You know, I, I'm starting. As the more and more I do the show, the less and less I get offended by watermelon. Because I'm good with watermelon. <laughs> no, it's because you buy watermelon Mountain Dew. That's why you're not offended no, no, by no, watermelon no, no, anymore. No. Hey, you ever put Johnny's on watermelon? No. I've never even had fucking jo You have not put hot sauce on fucking watermelon. You that dude, you have not no. That's that's blacker than Draymond Green. You have never fucking done that. Johnny's is not hot sauce. What is it? Johnny's is seasoning salt. You have never you're fucking the, you're put the that only, shit. You're the only person in the world who doesn't know what Johnny's is. I know. I'm all, not, all, I can, all, 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 listen. I can call one person right now hey, and they will verify. Jones, you know what Johnny's is? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Johnny's is. He doesn't know either, motherfucker. You know Maybe is. you're the only man who knows what it is. Well, shit. Maybe I do got a chance fucking behind you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he can slam dunk, but he doesn't know what Johnny's is. So fuck him. Yeah. Next next thing you know, you're gonna bash me for not knowing whatever that fucking platinum party is, or whatever the fuck they were talking about over the weekend. You didn't hear about the platinum party? <clears throat> no. What the fuck and, is? And, and we're not talking about like Puff Daddy and Mace in the '90s when they were doing the videos. I'm talking about. No, I would have known about that. Queen fucking Elizabeth. What? Okay. What about like? Is it a gray hair party? She was. Cele- there, she was celebrating her reign. You know how they give you that? You know how they do that shit for your work anniversary? Okay. It's kind of like that. Just a, she's worked there a really long time. <laughs> how long she's? How long has she been there? I think like seventy years. So basically, she threw a party for herself, celebrating seventy years of fucking dictatorship. Pretty much. Elton John was there. Diana Ross is there. Uh, excuse Diana, me. Di- excuse uh, me. Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John. But Diana Ross, I'm like, I ain't even know Diana Ross was alive. She's not. It's probably her fucking doppelganger, dude. Upside down, you're turning me. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, I, Hold on why, why 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 are you celebrating 70 fucking years Of owning people Why you, are you doing this You know queen? what There's a bunch of fucking Mass shootings going on Around here How about I celebrate Fucking something I just celebrate something uh, ooh, Can we have something nice <laughs> I mean, can, can a motherfucker just have a good time with Diana didn't, Ross? Didn't we have like, No, they got motherfucking ABBA back together. They was up there singing Dance the Queen. Can I, can I leave the troubles oh of America God. behind? We got little kids down didn't in elementary school. Can didn't, I sing Dance the Queen? Didn't we fucking emancipate ourselves from this bitch? That way we don't have to celebrate her nonsense no, anymore? No, no, no. We, not from her specifically, but we did fight a war. It's not called emancipation. We just, we fought a war. We fought for our independence. Do you know what emancipation def- means? No, tell we me. We divorce ourselves from the fucking no, no, nonsense. We, no, we fight a war. When you emancipate yourself, you don't shoot Bullets at each other. They, that doesn't work. How like do you that. know? That's not how kids emancipate, emancipate it works. themselves. Colin McCulkin all the time. got. Colin McCulkin got emancipated. Colin McCulkin. Colin McCulkin got emancipated. Ma, call, say it with well, me. Colin McCulkin. Colin McCulkin. Cauliflower McCulkin. Like Lassie. Colin McCulkin. <laughs> Timmy's in the well. McCulkin. <laughs> he got emancipated, and his parents are still alive. So, Macaulay McCulkin. <clears throat> yeah. No, oh. no, no, no. Say it with me. Macaulay. Macaulay. Culkin. Culkin. Macaulay don't, Macaulkin. Don't fucking invert Macaulay the Macaulay Macaulkin. Jesus Christ. So get No back. wonder you talk about white people and sucking dick every week. You can't even get a fucking molester's name right. If I keep <laughs> like that, I bite somebody's dick off, so I can't, I can't be sucking dick. I'm disqualified. There you go. I can just, I'm just a receiver. You are out of control. I'm just a receiver. You still haven't answered I mean, my I'm, question. I'm Why like, in the fuck? I am, I am Jerry Rice. Why, why are we celebrating this bitch's 70 years of dictatorship? Because it was on NBC. I don't know. Okay. okay. If Lester, so, Lester Holt was down with it. If yeah. Lester Holt is cool with it. Let me guess. Next thing you're going to say is fucking Stephen A. Smith was commentating. Now, Stephen A. Smith. That's a whole other take. Do you, do you know Stephen <laughs> A. Smith? Ah, pun intended. I like that. A whole other uh, take. Oh, yeah. Nice Stephen try. A. Smith, the reincarnation sucks. of George Jefferson. <laughs> like a six foot five fucking George Jefferson. Non athletic. He fucks me up because I didn't know he was that tall. I thought he was like five three. Then he stands up. He's the most non athletic person on the fucking planet to talk about sports. I swear to God. What about Skip Bayless? What about him? No, Skip Bayless could probably play the hell out of some racquetball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Skip Bayless could play some fucking You know squad. damn well Skip Bayless played all the fucking soccer in high school, dude. So, I, I, I listen to. I try and fuck with Stephen A. Smith. Not in that way. No homo. But Stephen A. Smith, he always predicts the finals wrong. So you know the NBA finals are going on right now. I don't know if you know what date it is. It is fucking Prince's birthday. I have to say that. Purple purple ring. Purple ring. See, I'd celebrate Prince's birthday before 70 years of fucking bitch-ass Queen Mama over there. You were correct. For once, you are right, correct. You get applause. <laughs> For once. I've been correct twice on this show. Watermelon salad and Prince's birthday, bitch. No, you are, you are correct <clears throat> that Prince is more important than the queen. Fuck yeah, he is. That, when's the last time she had a hit album? When's Not the, never. When's the last time somebody hit them cobs webs and them pussy? <laughs> <laughs> she like Nancy Pelosi. Like, like Nancy, you, your, husband, your husband got caught driving drunk on the way home. <laughs> from, a, from what, from his fucking brothel? No, I think he was trying to get home to fuck. <laughs> it was I, his, I, I, it was I, his think, night I, think, I think he got drunk enough. He was trying to get home. He was like, if, 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 if I got fucked this bitch, I look like fucking Skeletor. At least I'll be drunk. <laughs> that motherfucker, he took, he took a couple shots of Jaeger and said, I got the power. And he Dude, t- if this 
motherfucker's drinking Jaeger, dude. Oh my god, he better be getting lit. So he got popped. He, yeah, he got popped going home to get some Pelosi pussy. Let, let me guess. They let That's him the off. sorriest excuse to get drunk. <laughs> let me guess. They let him off with a warning. And said, and said, you already got your no, consequences. They, 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 you got to go get laid. I mean, shit, they saved him from hell. <laughs> they, they, did they must, take him he in? Must, he must have felt like some Jehovah Witness caught him going did in the house. Did they actually like, take him in and arrest oh, him? they took him to jail. Thank God. It's about fucking time. She's getting the divorce, and she's going to get half all half of the money that she fucking dealt to him inside her trading. It's going to be fantastic. See, that's motherfuckers getting money that they do not deserve. Yeah. And I'm living that right now. 1700 bucks a week that I, bitch I, spends on booze. I'm, I'm living it right now because, you know what? I had to give away money to motherfuckers they did not deserve last night. And I'm not talking about refugees. I'm not talking about shit like that. Hookers? No. I went to the taco stand, and this motherfucker, Why? <laughs> Why? When I got my my carne, I, I asked for steak and I got carne asada. Steak and first, carne first of all, which steak. which taco stand are we talking so about? So this is taco. There is a uh, taco cart right next to the Chevron. That sounds shady okay. already. There's a taco cart right <laughs> yeah. next to. This. Why are you going to a taco cart next to a gas station? <laughs> it's my first question. Because they have a whole lot. I don't know. The one on the other side of town is really good. They have two lot. They have two carts. Okay. And they built a porch. And some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so I go up there. I order my um. I, I want the I want the burrito plate. Go ahead and give me the burrito plate. Okay. And I told the bitch steak. I saw her watch write a solder down. I told her steak. You know what steak is, bitch. <laughs> There ain't enough Spanish in the world So you not to know Did you address her like that? Did you say You know what steak is bitch? No cause this is one of those This is one of those times Where you come up to a place And the motherfucker Who's taking your order Only pauses to take your order When they get off their phone Doing some kind of other shit <laughs> Line up, Lining up their next fucking fix That's how you know Your restaurant has gone downhill When I walk up And the only thing you gonna do Is put down your phone Take my order And as soon as you're done Taking my order You pick your phone back up I don't know what is going on On TikTok <laughs> She had to finish hey, that tweet Unless there's dogs And cats living in fucking peace Or some kind of crazy shit Going on I don't know So I'm sitting there I order my shit And then they always do this The the, the Mexican I think it's just The fucking foreigners Because the Mexican restaurants Do it The Chinese restaurants Do it You go up To get your order It may be takeout Or wherever the fucking fuck But they got a tip line What the fuck is the tip line What, what, what am I tipping you for The bags A tip line You mean like an 800 number no, I mean, the way I felt after eating that food last night, I did need that 1-800 number. What's that suicide number? What's that shit Logic was singing about? Yeah, right. No, no what, I, what do you mean the tip line? So you look down on your receipt, and okay. like, they, they show you the amount that you owe. Oh, yeah, okay, then, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And there's a room for a tip. And oh, then, gotcha, And then yeah. they have suggested tip amounts. Yeah, right, okay. Bitch, you didn't even walk out the fucking cart. Right, so what's the problem? I feel obligated. Why? I feel obligated to put a big fat fucking zero on that shit. And I, I do. I, no, but it's before they make my food. And? Hold the receipt until you get your fucking food and then hand it back to them. That's not how it that works. That Brad's on her phone. She's not fucking paying attention. I, I, I tipped a dollar and I think my, I think my <laughs> carne asada was like yesterday's carne asada. <laughs> See, that's where you fucked up. You should have just let her go through her spiel. Do it. Do like the rest of the people do. You put the receipt like down here on the tray there's so they one, don't see it straight there's, away. There's one of me, and there's a good chance there's a big motherfucking name Juan out back. No, there's Chopping not. Onions. No, there's not. Juan is way too fucking lazy to be out in the heat like this. It's oh, like yeah. 75, uh, uh, 80 oh, degrees saying, outside. Are you are, are you being racist and saying they're having a siesta? <laughs> That's a big word for you, especially in Spanish. You need to fucking calm down over there. No. Yeah, <laughs> no, dude. You don't have to leave a tip amount. It's literally on the receipt paper as a suggested amount. Why? Why do you feel obligated to leave a dollar? A dollar is more insulting than leaving fifteen percent. It was a stare down. <laughs> a little, oh, a little Mexican standoff, as it were. <laughs> All I know is I. They made me pay with my burrito because it didn't settle right. Okay, but when you go these places. What, how do you expect, how do, I mean, how can you even form your face to put that little tip line on there? Tip for what? Because of people like you. People like you that are like, oh, it's on there. I fucking feel like I have to do it. Because, guess what? It, you're the people that fucking tip oh. the motherfuckers on the overpass. You're like, listen, me, I don't. Me, I, kind of, me, my kind of people? <laughs> yeah, are you yeah. My kind you're, of people? Ki you're kind of people kind with of people? jobs that fucking walk up to people on the other do And you're like, I'll give you a dollar to go the fuck away. I don't fuck around with the fucking overpass because I don't want 
homeless cooties. <laughs> then why then why do you keep that fucking bucket of like faulty cigarettes on your front porch dude you better pray to god I, you better I, pray to god homeless people don't figure you out because you have more cigarettes on your fucking porch that are smokable than any overpass on the goddamn planet why, why are you gonna put my porch on blast like like no homeless people knew about then you know homeless people <laughs> listen to this show <laughs> you know they got cell phones and shit they probably do yeah, I mean, they're they probably do. sitting out there on the corner of th- Listening to the hype podcast, like, oh my wow, god! Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> <laughs> what? You want me to get your address out here? You're about to give away mom's address on the fucking show. How about yours? Wow, wow, what? Wow, you're, what? You were about to give away my address on the show? I don't even know your address, honestly. You, you really? No, no, I don't. I, don't. I, mean, I mean, that was very close proximity. <laughs> what? No, it's not. You could be, dude. Street. You want to know how many of those are? I've been around the country. There's a lot of streets in the world, my friend. There's actually seven just in the Pacific Northwest that I can think of off the top of my head. Still rude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, you get a little butt hurt? No, you you say I'm rude for not tipping. You about to give away my address. Do you know hey, that motherfucker? Do you want to call you know your mom's husband? Turkey listen to this shit? Do you, want, do you want me to call your mom's husband, have him give you a tour or something, calm you down a little bit? I think I I think I want to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get feelings hurt. Oh, so fresh. Right. Like if you can't see him right now, he's kind of pouty. If you can't see me, it's because you ain't paying for fucking Patreon, bitch. <laughs> oh, so you already know. So it's about that time to go. We're gonna get the fuck out of here before I accidentally do leak his address out on the internet. You might get docs though, so fresh. You might have some pop up inskis rolling up to your house, flashing them tits. So I gotta give a shout cigarettes. out. I gotta shout out to uh, Steve at work. It was his birthday, and then like T Butts, it was her birthday. Can can we get a little more enthusiasm? It's time to go. Uh, uh yeah. Let me uh, let me give a shout out to Steve. Uh, you know, it was his birthday. How about yo? It's Steve's birthday. Happy it's birthday, Steve. Go. We love you. From the high podcast. Woo. Just shut the fuck up. Just, I mean, I, honest to God, true. I mean, I'd rather listen to Stephen A. Smith than listen to your punk ass. I mean, really, do you have any direction where you're going with this? I mean, it's your shit. The ways, the shit you talk sometimes, it sounds like just anal leakage. You don't know where it's going, coming from or where it's going. You just know you don't want to do it in a crowd. Happy birthday, Steve. <laughs> This is the Hype Podcast. I want to let you know that it's a beautiful thing. I do not live on 39th. I don't know where this guy actually lives. You know what's funny as shit? Like, I don't even know where you live. Where do you live? (laughs) Fuck it. We'll do it live. (laughs) 